broadcasting from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus. You're watching Mustang News. Good evening, Mustangs. Today is Wednesday, October 8th. I'm Julian Delgadio. Mustang News starts now. IFC Fall Rush is kicking off this week. The 17 fraternities welcome potential new members at a barbecue Tuesday evening. This week will consist of meet and greet events hosted by the individual fraternities. Each fraternity has a different schedule for the next six days with anything from tacos and touchdowns to a mini golf pig roast. The week will wrap up on Wednesday with a day of silence when fraternities can no longer have contact with potential new members. New members must make their decisions by Thursday, October 16th at 11.59 p.m. And as rush is beginning, teachers and students are complaining about the interference with classes. Last week, many girls missed classes for mandatory events at Panhellenic Recruitment, and this week many guys are facing the same issue with the IFC rush. Kappa Sigma president and IFC board member Cole Ullen says to always go to class, even if rush events interfere. Missing a rush event for class will not affect chances of getting into a fraternity. Kind of like worries me a little bit that you know there's other guys that are going to go to all the events and get to meet with guys and meet with everybody. If your school schedule clashes with recruitment, contact any Rush chair or fraternity president. Rush will continue through this weekend. No events for IFC are mandatory. Starting next fall, $9.2 million will go towards funding loans for undocumented students attending any California public university. The loan program signed by Governor Brown September 28th lets undocumented students borrow up to $4,000 a year with a lifetime maximum of $20,000, according to Bloomberg Business Week. Dean of College of Science and Math Phil Bailey said from his experience working with undocumented students in the college, there still leaves a need to purchase basic necessities for to apply for internships. So yeah, it's helpful. It's, it's huge in terms of being helpful, but it isn't. It isn't going to dramatically change things. The bill was one of three signed by Governor Brown to help undocumented people. Alan Hancock was awarded a grant that helps community college students intern at Cal Poly. The National Institute of General Medicine Science awarded Hancock $966,000, which will provide funding for the next five years. Han Hancock's Bridges to Baccalaureate program supports minority students who are pursuing degrees in biomedical fields. Every summer, a select number of students get to intern at Cal Poly and participate in science research projects. It's essential that we have a diverse workforce in the biomedical fields because there are um, cultural and ethnic uh, differences among everyone, and it's really important that we don't have, um, you know, a, a single ethnicity. Hancock is one of three colleges in the country to get funding for this program. Big name journalists will be on campus this Friday. The Jim Hayes Symposium is this Friday, October 10th. The symposium will feature journalists and correspondents from big names like ABC News, The Wall Street Journal, who will give talks and take questions throughout the day. The event begins with breakfast at 8 a.m. and concludes at 3 p.m. after speeches, discussions, and lunch. It is $70 for the public to attend the, day of the day's events and $25 for students. Dinner begins at 5.30 p.m. and costs $110. Tickets are still available for both events. And uh, lights, lasers, and futuristic battlefield will be taking over the UU this Friday night. That's right, ASI is bringing laser tag to the Cal Poly campus. The best part is, it's free with a student ID. For more information on how to register, go to the ASI website and click on the events tab. And uh, moving on to weather, Wednesday night will be nice and clear with a low of 56. And Thursday morning will heat up quickly with a high of 93 and winds up to 15 miles per hour. Thursday night will remain clear with a low of 56 degrees, but a great weekend to go to the beach. And um, that's, you know, it's going to be a great weekend to go out. And that about wraps it up for Mustang News this Wednesday. You can tune in to our weekly half hour broadcast. That's on Charter Channel 19, UHTV Channel 7, and Campus Channel 4.1. You can also find constant broadcast coverage on MustangNews.net. Have a great day, Cal Poly.